What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I shall, I shall be, he, I shall be showing you the scratch edition of getting over Easter egg. Some of you may not know that the main character There's no feeling over. more intense than starting over. Is a if you've broken your scratch project moments after you've shared it, as I have, or you spend hours working on a project only to notice too late that one of your sprites has unexplainably gone missing, but if you've made use of that difficult to name thing of thing block within the sensing category, amazingly useful but capable due to a scratch bug of leaving you crying as it dumps all your scripts in one big and ordered heap, if you've made real progress coding a game over the course of the week, only to come back the next day to discover you weren't even logged in. Nothing has been saving. Starting over is harder than starting up. If you're not ready for that, like if you've already had a bad day at school, then what you're about to go through may be too much. Feel free to go away and come back. I'll be here. All right. Yeah, that's all the Thanks for coming with me on this trip. Like I'll understand if you need to take a break at any point. Just find a safe place to stop and remember to pause the game by pressing P. On Scratch, you can find loads of remixed or reimagined recreations of existing games. And with good reason. George Bernard Shaw said Imitation is not just the sincerest form of flattery, it's the sincerest form. So, guys, I am back. Let me just. Unlike Unity or Unreal, Scratch does not provide you with a built-in physics or 3D rendering engine. Okay guys, I am back. So At this point, you don't want to fall into the trap of rushing into creating loads of content, designing all the levels, the player costumes, all the easier stuff that can be perfected later. No, before all that, you need to prod and poke that tree. That is, understanding the coding difficulties you're expecting to face and try out any ideas to solve them. You may not be able to time travel, but at least this way you can get a good idea of how well your project is likely to go, and potentially save yourself a lot of time. This project began life a couple of months ago as three simple scripts, the player, hammer and level. I spent no time on the art, just using Scratchcat and a few rectangles drawn in the sprite editor. The scripts for the player quickly mocked up in a similar fashion to those I teach on my YouTube channel. With the hammer I had to improvise, because I'd never done anything quite like that before, and boy did I prod and poke at those scripts. What I had imagined and the results I was achieving were hard to reconcile. The hammer and the player sprites would get stuck in the walls and ground, shake and jiggle and clip up to the top of the screen. Worst of all, when I tried the bread and butter action of lifting the player up upon the hammer, any tiny movement then would throw we'll the player into a crazy up and down slide. motion as if bouncing upon a possessed and pogo stick. Things don't always turn game. out as you want them Trust to. Me. And sometimes it's good to it take a break. A so, for the time what? being, I shelved what? the project. What? Letting it slowly slip down the what? list of unshared projects, joining the countless multitude of unfinished, me. unseen projects that haunt the vast storage archives what? of MIT. Yeah. What? Have you, as you've been playing this game, stopped to wonder how you can balance on a hammer that is held out to one side? It feels quite natural in game, but try it in the real world, and you'll not get your feet off the ground. No, this game is bending the rules of physics. The one thing I forgot to say. Although I was not actively working on the project, the desire to code the game and solve the initial problems constantly played on my mind. Finally, I decided to give it another go. Research after, is a powerful after tool. This video, Don't okay, just rely on what you think you know. YouTube can be a great resource for gameplay videos. Being able to pause and rewind the action is invaluable. Did you know that you can step through videos frame by frame using the angled bracket keys? My research helped confirm many thoughts I'd been having, and also uncovered some nuances around mouse movement that had really got me stumped. All this was food for my brain, and I was super fired up to bring it all to scratch. And so, back in Scratch, I completely restructured the player and hammer scripts, bringing the scripts together in a single sprite. This allowed the movement of the two objects to be tracked together, and to move dependent on each other. 
after uh, of course in coding coding, as in real life you often have to compromise it isn't reasonable to implement a full physics engine in scratch but often it's enough to create a good estimate of what the player is expecting get down to the tree again one plus one is two if this wasn't always the case if sometimes the answer was three then we would be in trouble. The addition operator is therefore referred to as deterministic. <laughs> Similarly in Scratch, if your player sprite reports here, that it isn't here. touching the level, you the then you would expect, the tree, assuming the player is not moved here, relative to the level, that this would go. continue to be the case. The as it turns out, the sensing <laughs> the block in Scratch does not behave like this. It can be non-deterministic. This is down to how Scratch draws its sprites. Their size and shape can change very slightly depending where on the screen they are first visualised. This can easily break a carefully crafted platforming script, resulting in sprites becoming trapped, teleporting to the edge of the screen, or worse of all, your game freezing up. One solution I'm fond of using is to create a short fix-up script that, on detecting an unexpected collision, moves the sprite this way and that in an ordered pattern until it finds a spot close by where the sprite no longer reports as touching the level. This is an important feature in this game. It should go completely unnoticed to the player, but without it the game can go horribly wrong. And now the final climb. I'm sorry to say goodbye, but thanks for playing my game, for giving me the time. Up the tree you go. Your struggles end in sight, up past the star you go, as you drift into the night. Can someone please count how many times I said Easter egg? Mm. Hope guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Yeah, it's gonna wrap it up. And goodbye.